Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. So what type of people could overcome the most? Uh, and this is going to be the most adversity, the most uh, hardship. I mean, some of these kind of people already deal with this. Who deals with survival the most? Who lives the, in the bush? Who, who, who deals with uh, being in concert with Mother Nature uh, and, uh, and being uh, in balance and harmony with uh, uh, all things outside, you know, outdoors? I think that I'd have to say, though, that the uh, Aborigines do a pretty good job, especially the ones in the deep bush. Uh, I don't know how much better you can get that. There's there's tribes in Africa and tribes in South America, I think, that would be also contenders, no doubt about it. Um, now, what about like Native Americans, for example? Um, some people don't like to say that they're Native. Uh, sometimes they don't really know. They don't even know where they, where they, where they came from. They might have migrated from uh, Asia. We just don't know. There are a lot of theories on these things. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, some, maybe very, very few, probably less than 5%, uh, could, could, could last quite, quite a while. Uh, but uh, most people are in the Native American communities, uh, from what I understand, have, uh, they don't, don't really uh, continue uh, the uh, traditions of the ways of the past and uh, have lost a lot of knowledge. And so I don't think that they're uh, as impressive as they were uh, because they become part of the world and, uh, and they're more interested in the things of the world and they have, uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of problems within the communities and the tribes uh, just because uh, they've integrated so much in, in the Western world and culture. So uh, I guess I would say the, uh, the Aborigines, uh, they stick out really good and, uh, and the other ones we talked about uh, but but why? Why would they stick? Because they're so, like we said, in concert with their their surroundings. Uh, they don't um, they don't think about prepping and survival. They live it. Uh, they they are <laughs> they are their survival manual. They their whole experience. Uh, they're all their experiences passed on to them. Uh, their tools are all handmade. Uh, their their every movement is all uh, all focused on their survival and, uh, and 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 preservation of their family. So uh, that's just kind of my take on it. I'm sure there's tons of other different peoples, uh, the Eskimos and various those tribes. And, and those tribes of Indians, if you want to call them Indians, uh, definitely would be included, no doubt about it. Those people have uh, probably quite a bit more skills than those who, who would be like in the, uh, uh, you know, what you would call like uh, uh, the 48 contiguous states here in America. Or And there's definitely tribal people in, uh, you know, in northern uh uh, you know, Canada and uh, maybe Iceland and Greenland. I'm sure there's probably some groups there. Uh, so, you know, I even thought about people in Siberia, for example, uh, and maybe the old world of uh, Tibet and that, that whole region. I'm sure there's people who have a lot of knowledge about the land and how to, uh, how to survive hardship. So, uh, yeah, there's people scattered all over the globe in different pockets that, uh, that live it. And so we kind of live in a utopian little fairyland uh, us Americans and Europeans, for the most part, because we don't we don't have to kill our food most of the time. We don't even raise our food most of the time. We pretty much just do these little niche jobs, these little really narrow-minded little things we do. And I'm not saying they're not important or not, but in the big picture, though, when those jobs are not around because technology and the modern world is not existing, uh, these these jobs that we have that we think they're so cool uh, will be meaningless. And those people that have the knowledge, they're going to be the ones that actually survive. Uh, unless we, the people here, uh, start to learn some of their ways. And to grow and to uh, get more in concert with the things around us. To learn about our trees and our plants, our animals, and uh, how things work. So, as always, you guys take care.